What is up guys, Joel here back with another one and today we're going to be talking jailbreak. Now I know we've moved sort of away from jailbreaks on the channel, but I thought this was really good news for those of you who are jailbreaking. Maybe we'll bring some jailbreaks back to the channel. But one thing I've been getting asked lately is when is the jailbreak coming out for iOS 12? And fortunately the wait is over because you can now jailbreak your device running iOS 12 for some I should say. Specifically those who have a device with an A8X processor all the way up to an A11 processor. This meaning if you have an iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus or an iPhone 10 and you are running any software version between iOS 12.0 up to 12.1.2, you're good to go. Now other devices that are compatible are iPads and iPod Touch but are also limited. The following are the specific devices that are compatible with iOS 12 uncovered jailbreak, but it is said that there are future plans to add support for devices with an A12 processor, such as the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR. Now, if you have a compatible device and you updated to iOS 12.1.3 or 12.1.4, which aren't currently able to be jailbroken, you are in luck because as of shooting this video, Apple is still signing iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. So that means you can actually downgrade and install that version to your device and be able to jailbreak. But do act fast because Apple could stop signing this software at any time and you won't be able to downgrade and you're stuck without jailbreaking. So now those who have an iPhone XS, XS Max or XR, I'd advise maybe even downgrade into the current version that's being signed, the 12.1.1 beta 3. Just in case when this jailbreak is updated, you will more than likely have a compatible firmware. Now it's still pretty easy to jailbreak. All we gotta do first is download the City Impactor tool, which is used to install the jailbreak on your device. And I'll leave the link down below in the description so you can go ahead and download that. But it is available for both Mac, Windows, and also Linux. So go ahead and download that. And once you get that downloaded, we can go ahead and download the IPA file that we need to use for this jailbreak. And this is also found on the links down below in the description. It is a GitHub link, uh, which is where you'll find it. But this is the most important part for the uncovered jailbreak. And the one that I'm using for this video is version 31, which is the latest one as of shooting this video. So I went ahead and downloaded this one and I already have this set up on my desktop here. So before proceeding with the jailbreak, we have to make sure one thing is done on our devices and that is to delete any over the air files. Now how we search that is go into the settings of your phone. From there we'll go to general and then we go down to iPhone storage. Now on here, if you see a settings icon, uh, settings app icon I should say, uh, that's usually where the over the air files will be at, but I didn't seem to have it on this device. This is an iPhone 10 which is running iOS 12.0, but it'll look similar to this. You just have to swipe over and then delete from your phone and then that's it. So once we have removed over the air files from your device, we're now ready to jailbreak. First, we'll connect our device to our computer and I'll have mine right here and we'll trust our computer as well. And we'll also open up City Impactor. So here City Impactor should read your phone. You should see your phone right up here and then we'll simply just drag our IPA file that we downloaded and we'll just go ahead and drag that into here. And on this part, it'll ask you for your iTunes email login. Now, if you get an error like this, this is because I have a two-step verification password. So I have to go into Apple's website and here I'll have to log into my Apple ID. Now here under security in the section where it says app specific passwords, I have to do generate password. You can name this anything. I'm just going to name it Apple and hit create. And then this is going to be the uh, password here. So once I copy that password, I can enter it again. So we'll simply drag our IPA file one more time into Cydia Impactor, type in our Apple ID, and then paste that password that we generated. Once you see City Impactor doing this, that's a good sign. And then you'll notice that the Uncover app is now installed on your iPhone. So now the rest of it is done on your device. So we'll first have to go into our settings and then we have to trust the app as well. So under settings, general, go down to where it says profiles and device management. 
And then under developer app, it'll have your Apple ID. Click on that and then you'll hit trust. So that way we can trust this app. Now, after that app is trusted, we can go back to our app here and click on it. And then now you'll see jailbreak right there. All right, so once we click on jailbreak right here, it'll start exploiting and it's just a waiting game now. Now I had to do this process three times. The first time it did give me a notice that the system snapshot was successfully renamed. You just hit okay and then it'll restart your device. After that, go ahead and open up the Uncover app once again and hit jailbreak. The exploit continues and then I did get another notification saying the bootstrap has been successfully extracted and it restarted my device one more time. After that, I opened up the app for the third time and hit jailbreak and this time it rebooted my phone and after a fourth time, I had to open the Uncover app one more time and hit jailbreak. Now this fourth time, that's when I started running all the exploits and my device did respring. After that, I was able to now see Cydia on my home screen and opening that up, you will now see that I'm running Cydia on my iPhone 10 and it's officially jailbroken running iOS 12. So just know running this jailbreak a few times is okay because after a few times it'll work. But anyways guys, that is how we jailbreak iOS 12. As always, if you did enjoy this video and want to see more jailbreak videos in the future, let me know by hitting that like button as it not only lets me know that you want to see more videos on this, but it also shows support to the channel. Also, if you're not yet following on social media like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, go ahead and do so. That way you can stay up to date with what is going on. And if you have any jailbreak questions, you can also reach me on there as well. Lastly, if you feel like being awesome, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I drop a new video. Anyways, guys, let me know if you are excited for this jailbreak and what device are you jailbreaking? I'll be leaving links in the description in case you have any issues. But other than that, I appreciate your support very much. And I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.